All right, Mozzie Smith. This team is going to be successful. We're going to need a lot from Mozzie controlling the middle. When you control the middle of the field, you control the field. And he was out there before anyone else working out. Mozzie, Mozzie, I know you're tired, man, but I, quick question for you. Can I ask a quick question? Man, with you out there early, you were the first man on the field working with the handwork. How do you like working with your new defensive line coach? That's it? All right. <laughs> okay. Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and I am back at uh, the Red Brick House with Joe Boo. Got everything set back up. Uh, hasn't been This stuff hasn't been touched in about two weeks, and it feels great to be back uh, having Joe Boo. And I don't know if you guys know, we have another friend here at the Red Brick House, okay? Because we have so many Eagle fans that love to be here, they truly love to be here, with the exception of Philly 500 and Dan Salio. I got kicked to the curb today because of uh, Bush Davis uh, was going to be on the show with Dan Salio and things. So instead, I decided to go ahead and bring our, our new buddy here. I don't know if you've met him. One ring. One ring. Our Eagles mascot here, just showing you Eagle fans a little bit of love. So we have some news and updates here. Jerry Jones, I want you to understand Jerry Jones who is the godfather of the Cowboys now, okay? He is there, and Jerry Jones says a lot of things, okay? And what I'm going to tell you is don't get too excited and too hyped up by what Jerry Jones says because very often Jerry Jones says a lot of things that don't come anywhere close to being reality. You'll remember, you know, about five months ago, we're, we're all in. Johnny Manziel. Oh, I love that Johnny Manziel. You know, that, that Adrian Peterson, you know, I love that guy. You know, if it were just about writing a check to win the Super Bowl, there's no check that's too big. Yeah. So, don't fall for the bait from Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones, he is going to play you, people. He's going to play you. He's going to say a lot of things. The person you actually have to listen to is Stephen Jones. Stephen Jones, let's be clear here, is running the organization. Whether you like it or not, he is the guy. Remember, I believe it was two years ago, he said when Jerry's gone, you can expect the Cowboys to um, be less risk takers. And I'm kind of like, you ain't taking no risk right now. What are we talking about? Because Stephen Jones doesn't like risk. And you can make an argument of the Cowboys believing in their own guys when you look at right now how Tyler Guyton is, is coming out the box and Cooper Beebe is forcing the Cowboys to get him first team reps and so on. You kind of look and say, yeah, the Cowboys are pretty good at getting that homegrown talent better than the Eagles are getting that homegrown talent. The Eagles are just better with free agency. And in the end, we're really not too far apart, you know, between the two of us. It seems like it's the Eagles or the Cowboys winning the division pretty much every year. Once in a while, Washington will slip in there. The Giants, not so much. Be that all as it may, um, Stephen Jones has said today that um, they want to have Dak Prescott's contract done by week one and i honestly believe that because they re <laughs> seem to understand that they don't want to go into a situation where Dak says you know what we're done talking about contracts and we'll wait till the end of the year because it's going to cost them that much more if they wait until next season right now you can look and say Dak, we're going to pay you 56 million to be the highest paid you don't know if Josh Allen gets an extension or Pat Mahomes says, you know what, let's go ahead and do another 10 years and get me some more money that makes that average go up as well. Because as 
I, I was it Mike Fisher? Somebody was talking about Dak Prescott could be seventy million next year. So be that as it may, they're trying to get that done. We also know that they're trying to get CD Lamb done. And here's why I'm gonna say it's definitely close to being done and that um this sounds about right. Stephen Jones, again, the guy you really need to pay attention to, whether you like him or not, has said he wants CeeDee Lamb to get 12 to 15 targets per game. Now, understand, last year, last year, CeeDee Lamb had 181 targets, 181 targets in 17 games. So that's a little, just slightly above 10 targets a game. So we're talking about another two to five more targets a game. We're talking about adding another third, or excuse me, no. Yeah, adding another third targets per game. And in fact, wait a minute, hold up. So if we say five targets, say five targets times 17 games, that's 85 more targets. So 85 plus 181 that he had. That's 266 targets. Stephen Jones is basically saying, we're going to pay you, but you're going to be one and a half wide receivers. We're going to do more with less. Here's exactly what he says. He's going to touch the ball a ton. For what we're going to have to pay him, he better. Jones told uh, Jory Epstein, I told Cowboys coach Mark McCarthy, things can't change. He's got to be targeted 12 to 15 times a game. You got to hand it a couple of times, more times. He's got to see that changing in the least bit. He's our number one go-to guy. So literally, Stephen Jones is saying, we're going to run your ass. You want to get paid? You got to do the work of another wide receiver. Literally, you're going to get that money. You're going to play two players worth. And that's kind of like what he said about Dak Prescott, where it's like, you know, Dak's got to understand he's got to leave money on the table for others. If we pay him, we can't keep those other players. And literally, let Cedric Wilson go. We can't pay Cedric Wilson. Uh, Amari Cooper, you know, we can't afford that guy. Dak Prescott, you know, you're you're taking the money. You're going to have to play the role of quarterback and wide receiver. We expect we we told Mike McCarthy that Dak Prescott, you got to set it up where Dak Prescott is throwing the football some of those plays to himself. He's got to make sure that he's earning that money. Um Here's the thing that I will say about that. Now, CeeDee Lamb had an incredible season last year. He was 74.6% completion percentage with him literally having 1,000 yards to the next closest person on the team. Mind you, let, let me say that again. He had 1,749 yards. The next closest person was about 1,000 yards away. He more than doubled everybody else in production. And you're saying, hey, we need to see you get basically 2,000 yards. Actually, let, let me see if I can figure this out. So, hold on. Let, let's, let's do some math here real quick. I'm sorry I didn't have this prepared. So, if we're talking about 85 more targets. Times point seven four. That's 62 more catches. If you literally are saying, I mean, that's the high end, okay? That's the high end. But you are literally saying, if you have 81 more, tar- excuse me, 85 more targets, okay, at his percentage of 74, that's 62 more catches. So, so 62 plus 135 catches. He's basically saying, CD. You need to, it comes out to 179.9. You might as well just say, C.D. Lamb, we expect you to have 200 catches this season. (laughs) 
Am I crazy? That's what he's saying. He got 10, slightly over 10 targets last year, got 135 catches on 74% catch rate. You're saying that he needs, oh, and, oh let's do another one here. Let's do another one here. Oh, let's, let's, let's go crazy. So if we say 197.9, he averaged 13 yards per reception last year. He's basically saying, CD, I need to see you with 2,500 yards. 2,572. That's what the numbers work out to. Um, he's our number one go-to guy. That's what I got. So I guess the contract's coming that he is literally going to work the hell out of that guy. Um, one other thing I want, want to point out here for also, actually, you know, what? that's enough right there. That, that, that's enough to deal with there. You know, in fact, I think maybe what I ought to do is check with my guys from Bet US and see about CD Lamb what the over and under for catches since he's going to be targeted. You know, how many catches? What's the over or under for that? Because see, <laughs> wow. And um, if you are a gambling person or if you want to try some gambling, definitely check out Bet USA because right now, check this out. Check this out. And maybe Stephen Jones would definitely like this because what they will do is they will do a 125% matching of up to $2,000 three times on your account. You literally can give them $2,000 and they're going to give you an additional $2,500 to go with that to gamble. So definitely check out in the description here uh, the link for BetUS and Get your bet on. And I'm going to go ahead and say, hey, right now, I don't know what the over is for um, CeeDee Lamb on catches this season. And maybe he's trying to make him an MVP because if he ends up doing those numbers, that, let's see what the MVP odds are because I think maybe I need to take those with Stephen Jones, definitely. I'm Mark Holmes, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys, and uh, I will hopefully see you guys real soon. Peace out.